Hey guys, welcome to another special episode. Today we are doing a behind the box with June's 2017 My Aquarium box. We have the freshwater box as well as the cichlid box to look at today. So let's just jump straight into opening these boxes so we can see what's inside. Today is also a special day because it's Father's Day. So happy Father's Day to all you fathers out there. Hopefully you are raising little fish keepers of your own to keep this hobby going. Uh, it's always appreciated and um, it's great to pass on your knowledge to the next generation. So, as always, the first thing you have in your box is your scorecard. It lists all of the things that are in this box as well as a few ways to win prizes. We have the Mega Box Prize sponsored by Marineland. All you need to do is do an unboxing video like this. Tell us what you liked about what was in your box, upload it to YouTube with the hashtag MyAquariumBox and you're automatically entered to win. Big, big prizes from Marineland, canister filters, LED lights, all kinds of big stuff that doesn't fit in this box. And we pick two winners every single month thanks to Marineland. Another way you can win, just take your box, arrange all the products so they look very nice, snap a photo of it, upload it to the My Aquarium Box Facebook page and you are entered to win a free box for next month. Last thing on the front, real quick, is the Small Business Spotlight. And for the Freshwater and the Cichlid box this month, the Small Business Spotlight is Green Oasis Farms. You can go check them out online, greenoasisfarms.com. We've got a coupon code for 20% off um, your order, your next order from Green Oasis Farms. So definitely go check that out. Mike from Arizona owns Green Oasis Farms. He makes YouTube videos, all kinds of great content from him every single week. Um, lives in Arizona. He's got a greenhouse in his backyard. He's always got something going on. Uh, really awesome to see uh, that business progress. Last thing on this scorecard are our list of sponsors on the back. And my aquarium box would not be possible without these sponsors. So thank you again to all of these sponsors for everything you do for my aquarium box. All right, first up we have a brochure from Your Fish Stuff. You can get $5 off your next order. Always a good thing, always in need of fish food. Now we get into the products for the freshwater box. The first one is a live spirulina algae kit. This is a starter culture, a starter kit to grow your own live spirulina algae. And essentially, we have a few things. We've got the instructions, which tells you how to go about it. We've got the vial, which is the live culture of the algae. If it's been sitting for a little while, you might need to shake it up a little bit. Live culture of spirulina algae. Um, this box was shipped out a week ago. This has been sitting in the dark for an entire week and it's still green. So that's a good thing, but you should get them going uh, in a two liter bottle, bottle culture as quickly as possible so that uh, as much of that algae uh, survives as possible. And then the last thing that's in here is a bag of grow media. And essentially, if you read the instructions, it tells you to fill a two liter bottle halfway full, take one third of this grow media powder, put it into that bottle, let it stir up a little bit, then you add your algae culture, then you wait a few days, put it in the sun, let that water get nice and green, and then you can top it off. And uh, you know, when, when you go to um, split your algae culture, then you can add more grow media so that the algae has uh, enough nutrients to, uh, to continue to grow. So very cool little kit, live algae culture kit. So if you have been wanting to try a live algae culture kit, spirulina is a great one to start with. Um, it's one of those things that can be fed to um, any number of your live foods from brine shrimp to daphnia to copepods to uh, you know whatever you have that you might want to feed to your fish and your aquariums. So cool little product there. Next up is a sample from Fluval, and this is Bug Bites. 
And this went in every single box this month because Fluval wanted to announce the fact that they had just launched this food. Uh, Bug Bites is a brand new food from Fluval and uh, it's interesting because it's made basically from insect larvae, um, specifically soldier fly larvae. And I watched the video on sort of the, the process and the thinking behind this food and I thought it was pretty interesting. Uh, the fact that they grow these soldier fly larvae in Canada and then use those as a protein source uh, for this fish food is uh, pretty cool. Uh, they also use salmon as another protein source for this food. So very high quality food from Fluval brand new to the market called Bug Bites. We have a contest um, about Bug Bites, so stay tuned for that. Um, your chance to win even more Bug Bites food uh, if you're interested in trying that stuff out. So very cool little sample uh, there. It's a half ounce sample too, so it's uh, it's pretty good, pretty good size. All right, next up in the freshwater box is a My Aquarium Box Koozie for the love of fish keeping. So next time you're out at a barbecue this summer, you can bring your My Aquarium Box koozie and tell all your friends how much you love fish keeping. Hopefully it starts up a great conversation. All right, next is a can, literally a can of bloodworms. And this comes from Zoomed. Zoomed came on as a sponsor uh, last month. And uh, this is the first product uh, from Zoomed that we featured in My Aquarium Box. And I'm really excited to bring this product to you because I feel like it's one of those things that makes My Aquarium Box special. This is a product that you might not necessarily go out and buy on your own, right? If you were to go to a fish store, you might just buy a flake food or a pellet food, go to the checkout counter and you're done. Maybe a frozen food. But this is one of those items that might be sitting on the shelf. You might have seen it before, but you might not have pulled the trigger and tried it out. So hopefully this is the first time you are trying a Zoomed Can-O Foods and hopefully you have a great experience with it. Um, it's very cool. You can just pop the top on it. You've got a little spoon and you can feed those blood worms to your fish directly. And then I believe the rest of the, this can, you can just refrigerate it. And uh, I think it's best to use it as quickly as you can, but uh, you can refrigerate that if, uh, if you're not gonna feed it all in one go. So a pretty cool way to uh, have, you know, sort of a high protein food source on hand, pop the top, feed it to your fish when you need to. Uh, if you have certain fish that need, you know, higher protein boost for uh, breeding, uh, that might be something that you keep on hand and use it when uh, when you're ready to uh, sort of stimulate that activity. Next product is ammonia remover. This is zeolite. Uh, this is a very cool product. You may have seen it, you may have used it before, or maybe you haven't. But uh, this stuff can get uh, basically go straight into a media bag. You rinse it under the faucet real quick just to get some of the dust off. Um, it has it has been screened already, so there shouldn't be a whole lot of dust in it. And then you can put that directly into a hang on back filter, into a canister filter, and it helps to um, remove and bind the ammonia, free ammonia that might be in your water. So um, you know if if you're in a situation where you're going away on vacation, uh, or if you're in a situation where um, you know, you, you think that there might be an ammonia spike, like maybe you just got a bunch of new fish, or uh, maybe you just have a really high bio load in your tank, maybe you have a ton of fish in your tank. Uh, this is a product that can help to smooth over the amount of ammonia that might be in the water so that your, uh, you know, your beneficial bacteria don't have to, uh, you know, uh, handle that entire load. And the interesting part about this stuff is that in a freshwater tank, once you've used this and it's sort of been been spent, um, you can take it out, rinse it, and rinse it in, in salt water, I believe. If you rinse it in salt water, then it, uh, it removes that ammonia that's been bound to it, and then you can actually use it again. So I'm sure you can find more instructions online about how to use this stuff, but it's one of those things that you can use over and over again. So very cool little product there. I believe this is about a pound of zeolite. So good portion uh, for you to test out. And then um, a really interesting thing here is a power head. 
this is something that um, has been a few months in the making. Um, obviously, when we're talking about my aquarium box and we're talking about electronics and adding products to the box, um, these sorts of things are really expensive. And uh, we were able to work with Aquatop, a great company, and uh, work with them to get these power heads down to a price where we could afford to put them in my aquarium box. And I think it's great because it's one of those things where you can never have enough flow in your aquariums. You know, maybe you have some tanks with power heads, some tanks without power heads. Maybe you're setting up a new tank and you want to add more flow. Maybe you have dead spots in a tank that you already have and um, you want to add some more flow. So power heads are a great way to do that. This is a nice um, medium to small size power head and you can attach that to the side of any tank. Just add a little bit more flow, direct the nozzle in the direction that you need that flow, and away you go. So, I know a lot of people don't have power heads in their tanks, so hopefully, uh, if you've never tried a power head, this will be a great uh, chance to do so. Um, obviously, they're, they're used a lot in saltwater tanks. They should be used more, in my opinion, uh, in freshwater tanks, but they aren't always, so good chance for you to try that out. All right, and that's everything in the freshwater box. Let's zip right through the cichlid box so that you can get a chance to see what was in that as well. Again, we have the um, scorecard. So you can look that over, very similar. We've got the koozie, so we don't need to talk about that again. We've got the power head. So we don't need to talk about that again. We have the bloodworms. And uh, one thing to note is this is a cichlid, cichlid box and uh, people keep African cichlids, they keep South American cichlids, dwarf cichlids. Um, bloodworms specifically are um, a great food source for carnivorous fish, fish that like protein. However, if you have fish that are herbivores, and some cichlids are, um, bloodworms aren't as great for them. So definitely before you feed any food to your fish, you should definitely check out the label, make sure it's compatible with your fish, uh, and make sure it's something that you should be feeding them. So great little product there. Next up, we've got the bug bites again, so we don't need to talk about that. We've got the zeolite again, and this is something that is very helpful um, in cichlid tanks, especially if you have a higher volume of fish. Um, zeolite's obviously a great thing to have in your power heads and your hang on back filters. The two items that are different in this box this month for the cichlid box, we've got black worm sticks from Your Fish Stuff, which is uh, very exciting to see. 43% protein, 12% fat, 1% fiber, 8% moisture. And uh, the key ingredients at the top are salmon meal, soy flour, fresh black worms, um, and blah, 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 brine shrimp, dried spirulina, good stuff. Two ounces of that, so that should be plenty to see if uh, your fish like black worm sticks. I always find with uh, cichlids that uh, sticks and pellets and, and foods that have a little bit more substance to them uh, usually go, go over better than uh, flakes do because you know, flakes are like nothing in terms of weight. So if you've got large fish, um, they need larger food. So hopefully they like the black worm sticks. And the last thing in the cichlid box is this bottle of African cichlid conditioner. And uh, this is a product from Nutrafin and the label that is on this bottle looks like it comes straight out of the 60s, but I promise you this is a brand new bottle uh, made in Canada, distributed by uh, Hagen, and uh, they're the ones that own Fluval, so um, good product from them. And this is uh, a conditioner which adds beneficial minerals such as calcium, magnesium, potassium, and sodium to aquarium water. Benefits African cichlids, live bears, goldfish, and any brackish water species. So, if you're keeping any of those things, this is a good sized bottle to get you going. Eight fluid ounces. You can test that out and uh, see if that helps out. Anyways, guys, that's everything in the freshwater and the cichlid box for June 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. 
you want to check us out, you can go to myaquariumbox.com and subscribe. Thanks.